Well, good morning. Um, I am, oh my gosh, it's so pretty here. Um, so thank you for showing up today. I'm going to do three things today. I'm going to put them together. We're just going to kind of put them in um, just into another way to look at prosperity mindset. So I'm going to put esteem together with symbolism and then prosperity mindset. So I'm going to kind of just weave them forward so that you can um, just enjoy it. So uh, anyway, it is a beautiful summer day today, and uh, you might actually hear the birds are out of their mind. Uh, I'm up in the loft, uh, and the uh, where my um, where my air conditioner was in this in the loft, um, a bird's nest is there. So there are like they are squawking and squawking. So if you hear if you hear tweeting, it's just life beginning. So perfect for a prosperity conversation, right? Okay, symbolism, prosperity, esteem. Holding the self in esteem. So one, thanks for being here. I'm super glad that you're here. And uh and it's meaningful. So thank you for showing up for your own for your own wisdom. I mean, it's so fun to watch you grow and it's never it never gets old. It never gets old. So prosperity is a verb, right? It's action energy. It's the ability to magnify. What is the work that we are doing together? We're trying to understand that dot from which you are magnifying from. What is that point? Some people call it a point of attraction. It's really the point of magnification, right? What What is your mindset creating from? What is the pace, right? We, and I often call that the pixel. Um, what is that pixel, that one dot right here? And that dot makes the rest of the magic happen. And that's the goal we're trying to get to. And that is also understanding symbolism, because the more that you're here, the more you get kind of little pieces that are starting to add up. And for those of you who are in our three year program, you really start to see how all of these topics weave together and then they weave together and they deepen. And then they really become ingrained, right? And that's when we are. So we're really saying, here are some of these introductory topics, and now I'm weaving them together. And that's what you're doing. And you're doing it in your own magic, right? It, it applies to you. I, I can give this, that, that, right? There's other people who are watching, and they're going to get the lesson differently than you are because they don't have the same life experience. So when we look at symbolism, symbolism is, right, the shape of meaning. And, and that's what many of you are starting to look at in your life. You're, you pick them up in little bits, right? You pick up a little metaphor. You pick up a little statement that means something to you. Or you may have picked one up later. They, they are like these little fortune cookie bits that we pick up in our lives. And, and it's also that we start to build um, what I call meaning and measure, right? That we start to go, oh, here are the tasks that I'm doing. Here's, let me put some more models in my life, right? So those models might be fixing things or outlining things or just cleaning your house out, uh, getting rid of stuff that doesn't have symbolism, that doesn't shape the meaning of what you're going, right? right? And prosperity is an action verb, right? That's, that's the energy that expands. So all those small tasks that you start doing, all the things that are um, the go force of life, right? The go, the, uh, prosperity is the go force of life. And, and that energy of going forward, you've had enough things that you've gone go on that you start to see the patterns, right? You start to see that you're, you're, you start to see things clearing out. You start to see things lifting off. You start to see things, ah, right? And when I remind people about is that you start to hold the self in esteem, right? And that is honoring. That is really saying this has purpose, that you appreciate the big capital S self, right? You have a fondness. And, and that fondness is the privilege of kind of being sweet on your journey, Right. If you've ever just felt sweet on something, I'd like you to feel sweet on your life. This precious, this precious life that you have. And, and it is not that it, there's a comfort and this is carefree nature that we have with our childlike self. 
and and that you can kind of appreciate that right it's it's appreciating that it's breakfast and you're just going to have a cookie instead um but it's oatmeal cookie maybe so that kind of counts as breakfast right that you just kind of go that's okay that's okay esteem is also wonderment and approval approval right it's not trying to improve everything it's honoring the self that is present it's honoring the journey that's been. It's honoring all of the things of the self. And, and prosperity mindset really feels better, right? You know that you're there, right? You know that you've made this vast improvement. You know you can measure when you can be present without this little backpack of jack-ups, right? And we all love to carry the jacked-up backpack. Right. And that's all of the garbage and the opposition and this just weight of our past carrying all of that. And, and it's such a burden. And, and so what happens when you first start doing prosperity mindset in the first year, in the second year, is you just start get, feeling brave enough to like pull something out of that jacked up backpack and you start to lift a couple things out. And sometimes you'll get a big one, like, you know, like a chemistry book of stuff. And you start to really do that. And there's, right, and then as, as your stuff comes out of that jacked up backpack and we have the energy of go forward, we're, we're doing all these small tasks. We start doing these little things. We start fixing things. We start organizing. We start diagnosing, sometimes misdiagnosing. We start noticing malalignments in our life. We start doing this other things. And this, this, vision that we had out here out here that we can't really get at right this vision that we had out here um starts to take a shape that suddenly you go oh i can see this thing and sometimes the thing you can see is super tiny um, i can see what this i can see what my new office looks like i can see what um i look like and if you've worked on it for a long time you're starting to see that you fit into your pants maybe or that you start to see that your paper is together or you start to see that your relationships have improved you start to see that your bank account isn't full of chaos right that you get some of these wins and again right that's the blossoms of your life it's all these tiny little steps that you've taken forward with out compromise right that you've taken these forward because you're rooting for yourself that that's that's keeping promises to yourself. That's being able to be fond of your life. Now, not everyone is crazy about their life. I'm not asking for that. I'm asking for you to be fond, to hold honor and space and, and appreciation for you and your journey. And then prosperity, right? It's the process. It's processing it. It's doing that forward energy. It's not just leaving it all in that jacked up backpack. It's saying, oh, let me pull something out. Okay, let me journal through that. Let me write through that. Let me do that. And then, right, we start to get the symbolism. And that's the shape of meaning. And that's that you're starting to kind of classify some stuff as dumb uh, and stupid. And I don't want that. Or, wow. Sometimes I classify things in just what happened um, that that it is um it is never shocking to me how many things hide in my jacked up backpack <laughs> there are so many things that i didn't know were in there and so it is it is all, every day of your life something had the ability to go in that backpack so it's not like it's just two or three things like there's thousands of things that are in there and sometimes that you know that brings us over to micro traumas and things like that especially for those of you who are high achievers which is a lot of you are high achievers um that you know there's you you guys win at at how many things you can stuff in your jacked up backpack uh it's stunning it's stunning and i know that because i'm a high achiever and i've stuffed all that stuff in my jacked up backpack so i have to start pulling things out and I have to start deciphering them. And I have to start putting some classifications on them. And I start, you know, looking at them. And, and what happens is when we start putting those three things together, self, holding the self in esteem, understanding prosperity, 
truly having prosperity mindset, and, and that is that I don't have to carry all this stuff in my jacked up backpack, is that suddenly now I can shape the meaning. And, and shaping that meaning is different for every single one of you. And it is also a constant set of clay. Many people are like, when am I going to get there? You, it's a practice. Prosperity mindset is a practice. It is the thing that you are doing, right? It's the go of your life force. You are constantly moving in it. It's not a destination. It is a practice. And, and you will be practicing that. You will be appreciating and honoring your own journey and the symbolism that it presents to you. Because the meaning of something in your 30s is very different than the meaning of something in your teens. The meaning of something in your 50s is very different than the meaning in your 30s. The meaning of something when you're 70 is very different than when you were even 50. So this is a lifelong process of of understanding the metaphors of your life, understanding and honoring the integrity and the investment that you make in your life. And here's what I will tell you. We build a lot of stuff in that backpack. And so what ends up happening is sometimes people get really overwhelmed because there's so much junk in their backpack. Well, it took a lot of days to get that junk. So just become wildly curious about what's in your backpack and whatever is in the mood whatever is able you'll just do that this is there's no prize for most stuff stuffed what there is a prize for is your ability to be present in your current life in in a thoughtful loving supportive point of attraction that's the prize that's the prize and that's the prize you're working on every day with all these small tasks. They're adding up to be, right, the blossoms of your life. So thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for taking the time to invest in pulling it together, right? It's wisdom. This is your body of knowledge. This is your wisdom that is being created. And I honor that. And boy, do I know where it's going. Not a chance. Not a chance. I have no idea where you're going. I have no idea. But I understand the process. And that is why we hang out together. Because the process is the same for everybody. That, that the process is the same. What you're pulling out of that jacked up backpack and what the symbolism means and how you hold yourself in, in esteem, boy, that's different for everybody. Their goal is in a different direction. So do I have any idea what's going to happen for you? No, I don't have a single clue. Uh, but I do trust that you do, and and you will, and that's why you do the practice every day. So for showing up, you get an A. For being willing to watch this video, you get an A. Uh, for being willing to put a comment in the section so that somebody else can enjoy the journey and, and hear what you have to say is important. So thank you for being here and being part of that community. It's meaningful. And you guys are really important to each other. So have a great day. Enjoy what's here. And um, yeah, I like it. I like it. I'm never tired of your path. It's fun. I will see you in class. So 